BTS Hall, episode three. Hello and welcome back to Bug Realms. For today's episode, we're actually going to be putting some bits and bobs into our communal coffee table enclosure. If you haven't seen the coffee table enclosure, I'll put a link at the very end of the video so you can see how we made that. So in there, as you know from the BTS, we got some giant orange isopods, we got our millipede, and I'm also gonna pop in our hissing roaches that we got way back when this channel very first started. So, I'm going to go and crack straight on with that now. I've bought some sphagnum moss that I need to put inside there. I also do need to get hold of some oak leaf litter, which I haven't done yet. But I am going to put that on the top as well. I'm just going to pop that one off. Oh, one of my lights fell off. What a shame. So as you can see, some of our live plants made it. One down here and one over that way didn't. We've still got one more. So we're just putting in some sphagnum moss layers here to keep up some humidity levels. I'm gonna leave this side over here a little bit more dry and one side a bit more humid. Okay, and the next thing we're gonna add, which I didn't mention at the start of the video, is some springtails. Now I've mentioned before, springtails used as our cleanup crew, so they'll take any dying, like any rotting vegetation um, and any of the inverts poo, basically. So these are springtails, if no one's seen them before. Lots of tiny ones. If anyone wants me to do a video on how to keep and how to breed springtails, because I am literally overrun with thousands upon thousands of them. So if you want to know, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you on that one. And then just going to spray down one side of the enclosure and I'll leave the other one more dry. So here's our orange isopods to join in with the cleanup crew. Hopefully we can get some of these breeding as well. Get one there to show you. So we're just going to pop these ones in. So with these, we're quite literally just going to start tipping them out. And there's all different shapes and sizes in here. Got some younger nymphs, and I'm presuming some sub-adults, possibly adults. So I don't quite know the full size these get to and they'll find their own way around. And now guys, we're gonna be putting in our hissing roaches. So, if you haven't seen when I got these, it was my very, very first video. Quite poorly done, if I'm honest. But um, there we have them. They're all still alive and well. Let's see if I can get one to hiss. There we go. And that's why they're called hissing roaches. So everything I'm just going to pop down and let it make its own way around the enclosure. I have got more, one second. Another one here. And the last one here. Check a bit of the leaf litter. And there's the roaches. And last but not least, our skeleton leg millipede. Now, as I said in a previous video, this is not how the full setup's gonna be. I do wanna get a bunch more millipedes and a few other things. So if you've got any ideas of what else you want included in our communal coffee table enclosure, leave me a comment below. So we're just gonna get this little guy or go out. Well, not really little, but. So there we have it pretty big completely safe to handle they don't bite and let's pop it in okay so we're just going to pop it in now just going to gently move it along it's 
still gripping on to me. There we go. So what I'm going to do now guys is I'm going to leave it here for the moment and we'll come back in the evening when the coffee table has got the LED lights on and see if we can spot where each one of these guys or girls have gone. I'll see you then. So that's it from the coffee table enclosure build guys for the moment as I said earlier we do want to fill that up a little bit more but I've got some other ideas when my work situations uh, back in place for what I kind of want to go for next um, thanks for the response on a previous video where we were talking about the live um, I am going to be doing or attempting should I say another outdoors video this weekend uh, it won't be live for you guys this weekend I'm just going to try and get some footage see how it works and see what happens uh, the DIY projects being held off a little while till my work situation has improved a bit more and I've got that bit more money to add a little few bits and bobs to the arboreal enclosures that I'm planning on making uh, I want to thank everyone that came to my Facebook live as well it was such a giggle I'm sorry if there was anything said that was inappropriate in any way um, but I, I don't think there was I haven't looked back over it it was like a couple hours long and my friends really enjoyed taking part on that I know it turned into a bit of a history lesson um, but that's great it's it's all about sharing it's all about you know spreading the love as people like Boxing Boa says and and that's what I'm about to guys so thanks very very much for joining that now I know the quality of this video um, and the content of this video may not have been as up to scratch as some of the others I didn't quite get the footage how I wanted it to and obviously there was a bit of mistakes with the filming there that was Danielle's first time trying to help me with filming so of course sometimes it kind of went a bit portrait although she was holding the camera the right way it must have started filming the other way um, so let's just forgive and forget on that guys um, but yeah thanks again for watching and you know all the jazz subscribe like leave us a comment anyway take care guys thanks again bye bye